so for the adequate fuel production in the body we need oxygen along with glucose now coming on to the point of oxygen uptake oxygen in the alveolar air gets transferred across the alveolar capillary interface so this is the starting point because our body excretes carbon dioxide and we consume oxygen the oxygen exchange happens in the healthy lungs so you might have a problem in the lungs which affect oxygen exchange so enough oxygen doesn't enter the bloodstream and that's how lung disease affects oxygen majority of the oxygen is bound to hemoglobin almost 98 plus percent and a small proportion is dissolved in the plasma so we should remember that it is this small percentage that we are actually measuring when we do the partial pressure of oxygen in the blood gas the oxygen is then circulated to the rest of the body by the blood so blood is just the vehicle to carry the different uh, substrates that we need uh, for the adequate functioning so oxygen glucose etc are carried to the tissue carbon dioxide and other waste products are taken out from the tissues and brought to the kidneys or the lungs to be excreted appropriately so the blood is a vehicle to carry essential things to the different parts of the body Oxygen is then released at the tissue level capillaries and this produces essential oxygen for the tissue function and metabolism. So if you understand the whole cycle of how the body works, so we get oxygen into the uh, blood from the lungs. The hemoglobin is a main carrier. So the blood cycles to the periphery and the tissue takes up the oxygen that it needs. And then the oxygen enters the cells to help with the aerobic metabolism process to produce the energy to drive the local metabolism. So this is the same whether you're talking of the kidneys, you're talking of the muscles, you're talking of the brain, the heart. So any part of the body, aerobic metabolism.